Hi guys, it's Joe here from Lawn Solutions Australia and today we're at the Melbourne International Flower and Garden Show and I'm joined by a very special guest, Charlie Albone. It's not very often I'm called special, no. but thank you. <laughs> there you go, today <laughs> we're going to look around some of the wonderful show gardens uh, that are built here and just see how turf is incorporated into them. We'll get to see one that was designed by a very special Charlie Albone as well. Oh, we're uh, going to that one. We're going to that one okay, too. Okay, cool. Um, so let's go for a wander around and check them all out. Right, let's go. So we've got some Sewalda DNA certifiers yes, for soft leaf nice. buffalo on this garden. So yeah. what's the idea by incorporating grass into a setup like this? Having uh, a bit of grass in an entertainer's delight, which is basically what this is, is so important. You know, you've got strong elements like the swimming pool, you've got a sunken pizza oven area there, but you need a bit of breathing space and yeah. lawn is perfect for that. You know, having this mass planted as say, just the small grasses would be too much. So yeah. having it low like that, it gives it a nice breathing space. Perfect areas to come and lay down as well. Yeah, sure. And, and always, like with all these gardens, it always comes with the idea of making it on a bigger scale as well. Yes. Uh, so the lawn would then complement it if it was growing. Absolutely. The best thing about show gardens is getting some inspiration. So yep. come, get inspiration, and then expand it for your space. Cool. Looks great. It does. Do you want to have a lay down or not? Not quite yet. Yeah, okay. On to the next one. <laughs> So the grass or the lawn's taken a little bit of a different tact here. It's kind of blended and rolled into the design. So yes. how's this working a feature? Well, this is a bit of a Japanese style garden and they've got some mounds in here, which I think grass is a great product to be using on a mound like this yep. because it can give you support when you're laying on it and things like that. But they've also gone around the bank here as well, yep. allowing the roots to kind of retain the bank. So it's a really, really good product for around there. You'd probably want to use a fly mow or something like that yeah, to, to like cut that. it. But I think it gives a nice effect. Again, it's a just a bit of a calm wave in the design because yeah. there's a lot going on in here and it just gives that breathing space to, you know, just relax the eye a bit. So they've used your Eureka Kaiku here, which is good for a, from a hard wearing point of view. And like you said, they can fly mail or something like that, but they could also go something like a Sagrange Zoysia and leave it totally unmowed. Yeah, I think that'd probably be a better option. I mean, yeah. with the Kaiku, you'd be mowing this almost every second yeah. day, <laughs> wouldn't you? Yeah. So yeah, so Grange would be a really nice choice on this. And then you can even leave parts mown and parts unmown yeah, sure. as well, would, would add to that mounding effect and give it a really nice look. Awesome. Now you can do all sorts of weird and wonderful things yes, with grass. You can. Talk me through, no, this isn't yours, but talk me through the thinking here, you reckon. As an armchair? <laughs> Uh, you'd want to make sure it was dry before you sat on it. Yeah. You could do something pretty cool, maybe with a bench seat with some so Grange on top yep. as well. That would be another way to kind of do like grass and seats. But here it's pretty eye-catching. You know, the idea with these gardens is to get people involved and just grab their attention. Cool. I think, hey, a lounge with Tiff Tuff on it, it's a great way to do it. Yeah, and I guess if they're using Tiff Tuff because of the drought and wear tolerance, perhaps yep. it'll hang on a little bit better. Yep. Um, but are we going to see any Tiff Tuff armchairs in the Charlie Albone design anytime soon? You might do. Um, <laughs> Maybe not in the next year, but after that, possibly. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Something cool. So this garden's quite unique in a number of ways, uh, but we'll focus on the turf. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. as you'd expect. Yeah. So, what have they done here, and what's the uh, the idea behind using Sagrain Zoysia? So the idea behind here, well, there's a story in this garden um, about the problems you get when you come back from serving in a war. And it's about the person who lives here just can't quite get around to looking after the garden. Yeah. Uh, and so they've used so Grange because, you know, it just looks awesome when it's long. So sure. it kind of ticks the box of working in the show garden and fitting the story. I actually love the way it looks as it yeah. is. And even as it ramps up, I think that's a really nice, a really nice look. They've used it up on the, the roof as well. Yep. And it's the same grass I used in my garden last year. So sure. I really love the look. I think so Grange, super versatile because you can keep it nice and short if yep. you want that formal look. but Leave it a bit long and it looks just as good. They've even got a little bit of versatility here because they've got that now oh, at a height of about yay high where it's probably cut every six months or so. Yeah, right. And yeah. then two years unmown, I think, yes. at the top. So okay. it's good to see what you can incorporate. So if uh, you had it at sort of six months like this, how would you cut it? Would you use a mower on high or yep. would you use a, a whippersnipper? A rotary mower on a high setting. Yeah, right. When you get to cutting that stuff, yep. it's a job for a whippersnipper. Yeah, okay. Or an apprentice. Or an apprentice. <laughs> So it's great to walk around. Um, plenty of cool gardens to see, and it's so good. Pretty much every garden this year incorporating turf into their display in one way or another. So 
people are thinking of coming to the Melbourne Flower and Garden Show, what can you tell them they'll see? What would entice them to come Yeah, well, world? I mean, the location is sensational. The buildings, the fountains, the whole lot. There's the flower hall behind us, which is pretty spectacular as well. You've got all the show gardens all the way from the small balcony gardens, the boutiques, the large show gardens. You see some of Australia's best designers. But then for those that love their plants, well, you will be in absolute heaven coming here. It is sensational. It's the premier event for anyone who's interested in landscapes and gardens. Absolutely. And Lawn Solutions are here every year. If you ever want to come and talk grass, you usually find a Lawn Solutions yeah. tent somewhere. Uh, yeah. We can help you with any questions or let you know uh, what grass varieties are where around the show. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll hope to catch you next time. See ya.